it's Raleigh with Eyes and Image Makeup Artistry. The tutorial I'm going to do today is about how to properly apply and rock a bold lip. Now a bold lip is just that it's bold and when you wear more color on your lips you have to be confident in the fact that you are amazing and fierce and uh, you just have to you have to feel really good about what you're doing. First things first, when I do a bold lip, I think it's imperative that you use a lipstick brush. Um, you know, I, I cannot deny the fact that I have oftentimes taken the lipstick and, you know, did a hula hoop around my lips with it, but lipstick is an emollient product. And as it warms up, after you apply it to your body temperature, it tends to move. And so if you have on too much product, it'll move beyond the lines of your lips. Not so obvious if it's a more of a neutral or natural color, but if you're wearing a color that has a lot of pigment in it and you have too much on, that's where you get into the feathering so much around the lips, uh, the product on your teeth, and just the the overall kind of sloppiness of the application so when you're using or when you're wearing a bolder lip color just you know do yourself a favor and use a lip brush one thing that you also want to consider when you're doing a bold lip is priming the lips um, you've heard I'm sure oftentimes or if you haven't priming your face before you put on foundation is really important and so priming your lips before you put on a bold lip is really important as well when you wear a bold lip the rest of your makeup should really be pared down which is why I don't have a lot on right now uh, because the eye is drawn to that one focus feature so if the eye of someone is drawn to your lips and my eyes got really really big then you do not want your lips to be dry you don't want them to be chapped you don't want to see dead skin on your lips. Mm, no. So hydrate your lips. Make sure they're conditioned before you proceed to apply your bold color. So I have here a pink. And it's one of my favorite pinks. It's from a collection that MAC did called Heatherette. Um, and I use this so sparingly because I love the color and I love the packaging. It just makes me feel good to pull it out. The color is called Hollywood Nights. Do not run to the Mac store for this. It was limited edition and it was done years ago. But there are always going to be colors, you know, that come out like this. So I'm loading up my brush, which is actually not a lip brush. I have fuller lips. And uh, so the brush that I use is a little bit bigger. It's actually a concealer brush, it's a Mac 194. So I've loaded it up. When you're doing a bolder lip and uh, you have a deeper skin tone and you want to rock the lip, but you don't want the lip to rock you, start in the center of your lips. This way, the first place you put your lip is where you get the most color. By the time we blend out to the outside edges, there will be less color, so it's more sheer. It's not so much of a contrast against your skin. It makes it a lot more wearable. All right. But we still have the intensity because we have that nice bold color in the center of your lips. Same thing up top. That's one application or one way to apply a bold lip so that you have the intensity in the center but it's more diffused along the outside of the lip so it makes it a little bit more wearable because you can see it's softer here so more of my own lip color shows through and it's not so intense against my skin. If you're going to go for a lipstick that has more purple in it, like strong purple, not a berry that has a little bit of purple in it, but it has definitely more of a purple or magenta sort of tone to it, it is not a bad idea to use a few pressed white strips. 
or some sort of product to do some whitening of your teeth because the more purple a lipstick is or lip gloss or lip liner the more yellow your teeth are going to look if they're a little bit discolored um, which is an unfortunate fact because I'm obsessed with purple I have maybe three five purple lipsticks in different shades and uh, if I don't feel good about how my teeth look I'm not going to wear them because it just looks a mess this is a nice way to apply a bold lip no matter what skin tone you are so that it's a lot more wearable simply by starting with your lip brush and adding the color to the inside and feathering out now I feel like that's not enough for me need more I'm gonna add a little bit more we're gonna go ahead and make the lip entirely opaque all over and we're doing that by not only adding it, but adding it, the product in a padding motion. I'm gonna show you another little technique of how you can kind of uh, make it a little bit more comfortable to wear if maybe this is your first time or you just want a softer look. So, I'm gonna take a lip pencil that is close to my skin tone and just lightly go along the edge of my lip. And this is not just, a, I'm not just doing a thin line. You wanna kinda of create a little bit of shading. This is another way that you can make a really, really bold lip color more wearable. If you're feeling brave, if you're feeling good, and you're going for the gusto, and you do the whole full bold lip without um, shading it, without fading the color, and you want to uh, make it stand out more, clean it up and make it more crisp, you can take a little bit of concealer or foundation with a brush that has a, a nice pointed end to it or an end that will fit you know really well around your lip and just take the product and go right around your lips pull the concealer or foundation out feather it out so that it looks well blended and that'll give you a nice clean look and it'll also kind of make your lip stand out a little bit just like that you're not actually seeing anything going on because I'm not putting anything on, but I'm just going through the motions. And I'm a gloss girl. I love me some gloss. So I'm going to add a little bit of gloss to it. Now, the color of gloss that you put on is going to determine whether or not you kick the color up or take it down. I want to stay with the hotness. And so I'm going to use... Fierce and Fabulous Lip Glass. Now, if you are a MAC user, a MAC addict, <laughs> you will know that because of the special packaging that it has, it means it's limited edition. And it's one that has been limited edition uh, a few years ago. So don't look for it. I'm sorry. So I started in the center of my lips. Or pile out. Same thing at the top. Notice I, I really don't go all the way out to the edge. The gloss is just to add some shine. Um, not really to do anything with the color. So I just keep it in the center of the lip. Yeah. There she blows. My bold lip. Just a few things that I'll do just to add to the look. To put a little extra stink on it. I'm gonna give myself a little bit stronger blush 
This is a blush, a cream blend blush called Florida or Florida, depending on my mood. For the eyes, I'm just going to add a little bit of shimmer and a little bit of smoke, some more mascara, and the bold lip look will be complete. All right, and voila, the eyes to go with the bold lip. Rock it out. See you next time. Bye.